Hey guys, this is a really quick video to tell you about the Alter Rapid Filter System, or RFS. The whole idea behind this system is that you attach a filter to your camera lens and then simply flip it out of the way, usually this way, when you don't want to use it. This is really convenient for things like ND filters when you need to get it out of the way, or polarizer when you have a shot that you may not want to use it on. For me personally, shooting with ND filters when I'm shooting video, a variable ND specifically is really important. That's how I maintain the exposures that I want. But if I suddenly walk indoors somewhere or go into shade or for any reason don't want that on there, what I found in the past that I'm is that I'm constantly unscrewing the filter, screwing it back on, and of course that's dangerous for a variety of reasons. You could drop it, uh, you put it in your pocket, and the action of putting it in and taking it out, you put your finger on it. Uh, any number of things can happen. And I've looked at other filter systems in the past. There's something called Zoom from uh, Manfrotto, which I've used, which I quite like, but I have to be honest, the magnetic gripping on there is not as strong as I'd like it to be. And while I have never lost a filter or broken a filter, I've come in a little bit too close for comfort on that. So when the uh, Alter guys reached out to me and asked if I would take a look at this system. I said that I would. Now, sadly, I'm a little late here. This, I should have done this video a couple of weeks ago. This is on Kickstarter, but it is right now, Monday, June 3rd. The Kickstarter is ending in just a few days here. Now, you can see they have surpassed their goal, so that's the great news. You know that if you do back this, you, you really should be getting the product. Um, obviously, all the info is on their Kickstarter page. I will put a link to this down below. I have two different versions here, the RFS and the RFS Plus. So we'll start with the standard RFS. The RFS is a same size filter and lens screw thread. So meaning that you would, just like you would without one of these, you would use the same size filter as you would that your camera lens has. So in my case here, I've got the uh, Lumix 8 to 18 millimeter lens, which has a 67 millimeter thread. And here I have a 67 millimeter variable ND. Obviously, I can just screw this straight onto there. But the way this system works is you have two parts, the hinge piece and then the part that actually screws into the lens. So let's start by getting this thing mounted up here. I start by setting this piece on. It doesn't attach or hold itself in in any way. And then take the insert threads, drop that inside, and simply spin that around until it catches. And of course, continue spinning until it tightens down. Now you'll notice here that the way this works is this piece is free spinning until I lock this down. Meaning that you can position the hinge wherever you want. So if you wanted it to be underneath or to the side or wherever, you can do that. I'll put it at the top. I think that's gonna be the most common place to position it. So we put that at the top and then go in here and tighten this down. Now to make sure you can get it really tight, it comes with this little rubber grippy mat, so you can get in there and really give it a good, good twist to make sure that thing is locked into place there. Okay, so now that that's in, you can see how this filter system effectively works. It just flips up out of the way. So let's go ahead and put the filter on. That's the 67 mil variable ND, and that's it. So now I've got my system in place. So I can be out shooting, adjusting my variable ND as you will, and then when you don't want that on there, just flip it up and it's out of the way. So that's all there is to the RFS. If I wanted to put this system on a smaller lens, then I would just use a standard uh, filter thread reducer, put that on there, and I could put this same system onto a smaller lens. Great. But there's also the RFS Plus. Now, the RFS Plus is designed for a larger filter than the lens size. So it's kind of a step-down ring built in, but it's more than just being a step-down ring. If you're with a really, using a really wide lens, like this is an eight millimeter on the Micro Four Thirds, uh, there's a chance, of course, that you could get vignetting. This is a large contraption on the front of there. It's sticking out a bit. So depending on the filter you're using, you might end up getting vignetting. So to circumvent that, they designed the RFS Plus, which allows you to put a larger filter than necessary onto the lens. So this, you could use it because of the vignetting, you could use it in lieu of step-down rings, it's really just up to you how you wanna use it. But the idea here, again, is larger filter, smaller lens. So this one is a 77 millimeter filter to a 67 millimeter lens ring. So let's go ahead and put that guy on there. And there you go. Now I've got my 77 millimeter filter on the 67 millimeter lens mount. When you look at the Kickstarter page, you'll see there's a lot of different combinations of filter and lens sizes that you can put together. So you can find the combination that works best for you. And I think for most people, you'll wanna buy the biggest one you would possibly need and then just step bring that down to others. But if you have multiple lenses that you're constantly pulling filters on and off of, then you can get a couple of these and just keep one on multiple lenses. So up to you, of course. Again, check out the Kickstarter page. I'll put the link down below. You only have a little bit of time left to jump on that, so uh, please do do that before the end of the Kickstarter. That way you'll get your discount. If you, of course, wait until it's a shipping product, it's gonna cost a bit more. But there you go. Have fun, bye-bye.